Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing good. We're at the middle of the week. Thank goodness. Things are going well here. I had a busy morning, less busy afternoon, so it's about four o'clock. I'm going to knock off soon. I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to say hello. Remind you that I will not be doing anything this Friday. There won't be a live stream uh, celebrating our 23rd anniversary, which is quite nice. I'm glad we've made it this long, and we're looking forward to the next 23. Don't know exactly what we're going to do. We've, we've got some reservations at a favorite restaurant for dinner on uh, Sunday night, but we're going to just kind of extend the weekend a little bit and have some fun. Might actually try to go to the zoo. My wife's been wanting to go to the Philadelphia Zoo since we moved here from Atlanta. I grew up in Philadelphia, so to me the Philadelphia Zoo is just that place we would go every summer, so it's not a big deal for me, but I haven't been there since I was a kid, and I'm sure it's changed. Yeah, we might we might do that. I have to have to consult with uh, she who must be obeyed and see what her plans are. And I got her an anniversary present. Um, I know she won't watch this, so I can tell you I I got her a Kindle. I liked mine so much. She played with it a little bit. She said she really liked it, so hopefully that'll that'll make her happy. Even got her a pretty cover for it with a tree on it. So I, I, I can you know sometimes sometimes. So I've been I've been saying for ever now. I mean, going way back. I've, I've just, in moments of frustration, I say, the problem with the world is it's full of people. And I had a particularly frustrating thing happening work-wise this morning. I'm not going to tell you about it uh, just because it's not relevant really, but I had my pipe and I stepped back and I, I'm smoking this five-year-old old Joel Kranz, which is wonderful stuff, and I packed the pipe and I lit it and I thought to myself, you know, it's good to get distance. It's good to step back and just reassess the situation. <clears throat> and after I had done that, I thought to myself, you know, the problem with the world is that it's full of people. But fortunately, there's a good number of people that are still pipe smokers because I think that's keeping us sane. And there's not a lot of sanity around these days. So we had a busy day yesterday, and we had to go pick up our CSA share at the uh, the farm, which is about 15 minutes away from here. If you've never done a CSA, it's a great thing. I mean, if you like vegetables, they, we, we get this big bin of vegetables every two weeks, uh, and it's it's not that expensive. You know, it's expensive because you got to pay it in one chunk, but when you realize how much food you're getting, and, and it's it's so fresh, and we get to try things we probably wouldn't try otherwise. Like there's something called butterkin squash in this one that I think we've had it before. I don't remember, but it's, you know, it's something different. Uh, then you get a variety of peppers and they got hot peppers. I got some of these cherry bomb hot peppers, which are really quite intensely hot. So I, I enjoy those. It, it, it's a good thing. And it, it, it connects you to a local farm, and they're growing the food right there. You can actually go. They have volunteer days where you can help them uh, sometimes pick, sometimes prepare things. You know, it, it's just nice. It's, it's a community thing. I really, really like it, and I'm really glad we do that. Anyway, we went to pick this up, and it was a busy day for both of us. And we said, you know, there, there's a restaurant we enjoyed going to. It's, it's, a, it's a bar, but it's got a dining area attached to it. So we're just going to stop there. And... We did, and it was great. Uh, food was good. I uh, I had a yingling. I was a happy man. But you go in, and there's this like narrow passageway when you first go in, and you have to wait for the hostess to seat you, and they immediately greet you, and they're always very friendly, and you know, you know, say say hello, and okay, let me just check, and they go running off into the dining room, 
and they come back and there's there's two of them so there's one that's there i don't actually know why she's there but she's sitting there and the other one is is running and she comes back and she says okay it'll just be a minute and she starts going back and forth with this other girl and they're like whispering and i can't hear what they're saying and they, they mention you know a couple of people's names and stuff and, are you sure and we stood there for oh it had to be six seven minutes you know it wasn't it wasn't a short time long enough that several times we had to like push up against the wall so that people leaving could get past us while this is going on a couple of the waiters come in and they need silverware and <clears throat> there's this big distraction where they're discussing silverware and I'm, I'm making it out to be worse than it was it really wasn't that big of a deal but everything finally settles down and the girl turns to her and says okay follow me and we go and we follow her the dining room was practically empty you know it, it was not at 50 percent capacity it was probably not even at 30 percent capacity there were a lot of tables and a lot of booths and i cannot for the life of me imagine what took this long <laughs> to, to figure out and you know it's just one of these things where you know i'm not going to get upset about it i'm not going to well, I'm upset enough that I'm talking about it, but it just makes you realize that sometimes people just aren't firing on all cylinders, I guess. Now, maybe there was some issue going on that, you know, I don't know about and that they, you know, had to sort through. Maybe they had a big party coming in or something. I, I don't know. But they never like rearranged the dining room or anything so and there it was as empty when we left as it was when we got there so i don't know but we had a very nice dinner the waitress was fantastic you know it, it, it's all good and we we left and the girls there as we're leaving and she very cheerfully says goodbye and thanks us for coming and it was you know overall a really good experience it's just that one little thing you know, it, it's funny how something that small can actually make make all the difference. And believe me, I'll go back there tomorrow. I don't, this is not a problem. But I just don't think people realize how their actions can actually impact on a, on a person's experience like that. So I've told you we need a new air conditioner. And we had a meeting with the air conditioner fellow who is their salesperson and he came in and he measured everything. He said, okay, this is, you know, you need an outside unit and an inside unit. And this is the best outside unit that'll work with an inside unit that'll work with your systems. So we figured it all out. Here's the price. Okay, great. We signed. Fantastic. We'll call you in a couple of days and let you know when we're going to do the install. So he calls after about a week. And I, I didn't talk to him. My wife did. And he says, well, the unit that we chose is not available. It's back ordered, And it's going to be October before we can get it. So I'm going to recommend you go with a different unit. So, okay, so what's, what are the pros and cons? Well, it's less efficient, um, but you know, it's, you, you won't notice that. It's, it's just, it's, it's slightly less efficient. Okay, anything else? Well, it's $600 cheaper. Now, $600 in the context of how much we're spending to get this thing done is, is not that much money. So, you know, I, I really, think that in the long run the more efficient system is going to be the right choice now there's there's a complication here because we still haven't had the insulation put in our attic from when we had the new roof put on they wanted to wait for cooler weather and as soon as the weather got cool our air conditioner died and both the roofer people the roofer people the insulation people and the air conditioning people agree that they don't want to they don't want to put the air conditioner in after the installation. It'll just be a big mess and it'll be harder for them to work and everything. So everybody agrees on that. And I said, okay, well, you know, we'll wait. 
it's not that big of a deal. It's it's cooled off now. We're not, you know, it's not like it's July. We'll wait. Well, I'm hoping I can get it in August, uh, in October. Well, what does that mean? Well, it, it's really in demand. Okay, well, <laughs> it's okay. We'll wait. Well, it might be a while. So very clearly, he's trying to tell me that they want me to get the less efficient unit because they don't want to wait this long. Now, I don't know if that's because he doesn't know if it's going to be available this year or if it's because he wants to get his commission before the end of the year. I don't know. And I, I hate to think badly of people, but, you know, people are people. And then my wife gets involved. Yeah, more efficient system is going to be better in the long run, so we should go with that. Yes. Okay. Decision made. A few hours later. Do you really think we should wait till October? Maybe we should go with the less efficient system. Okay, if that's what you want to do, let's do it. Decision made. Next day. I've been thinking about it, and I'm not sure if we want to go with the low. You know, it just... I love her dearly, but she, we make decisions very differently. You know, I make a decision and it's done. That I'm, it's, it's a freeing thing for me because I don't have to think about this anymore. She makes a decision and then she questions it over and over and over again. And, you know, this, this, we go out to eat sometimes and she'll spend 20 minutes looking at the menu. I, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I do love her dearly. So uh, we've been going back and forth and back and forth. And finally today I said, well, what is it that's bothering you with, about this? I mean, it's not hot. We can wait. Uh, we agree that the high efficiency system would be better. So why are we revisiting this over and over? And then she told me, well, my allergies have been acting up. She's got pretty bad allergies. I've been having a couple of bad days, and I'm afraid that, you know, as fall progresses, if we have to keep the windows open, I'm going to have really terrible allergy problems. Well, that's a reason to make the decision then. You know, that, I didn't have that information. So let's take that into account now, and we'll, we'll go with the less efficient system and get it done as soon as possible. She immediately said... But maybe we should wait. Uh, and all because the air conditioner guy couldn't just call and say, we can't get that unit anymore. This is the next best option. I would have been, everybody would have been happy with that. Yeah, it might have been a white lie, but he's already thinking that he's not going to get it in enough of a timely fashion to make us happy anyway, so why not just say that? Yeah, problem with the world is it's full of people, but aren't people wonderful? They make life worth living. By the way, this is uh, old Joe Krantz in uh, Jay Mouton. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed this. I, you can probably barely see that flame. I ran out of Zippo fluid in the basement. I've got another tin of it upstairs, but I usually keep one down here and one upstairs, and I have to pick up another one uh, next time I, I go to the place I buy it. But I was lazy, and I ran out, and I grabbed my little squeeze bottle of uh, denatured alcohol that I use for, for pipe work sometimes. And I squirted it in there, because these things will run on anything. You know, anything that burns, you can put into one of these. And denatured alcohol is pretty clean, and you know, certainly when it's burning, it's, it's it, the combustion products are not an issue. So, uh, yeah, it works. And and this, my friend uh, Nick, full smoking bar, told me that he was using methanol in his Zippo for a while. And you know, it's a smaller flame. It's actually a hard to see flame. The, the it's not as bright as the uh, the Zippo fluid, but uh, it works and. I don't think I would want to use it all the time because it just, I, I don't know how it would be outside and 
it is harder to see, so I'm more likely to burn myself. But it's nice in a pinch to know that you can do that. Uh, and I bet just about anything should actually try this. I've got a bunch of solvents to see, see which ones work in the Zippo. Uh, naphtha, of course, is, you know, the Zippo fluid is essentially naphtha, although I think it's a more purified form of naphtha than what you would buy at the, the uh, hardware store. So you probably shouldn't use naphtha. Um, but certainly, there's nothing wrong with either denatured alcohol or um, methanol wood alcohol. Uh, they're they're going to combust fully, and any products that are in them are not going to be an issue by the time you draw through your pipe. Yeah, it's nice to know in a pinch. And of course, there's stories about guys using gasoline and jet fuel and all those kinds of things. Well, folks, that's it. Uh, I've rambled. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so just a reminder, won't be here on Friday. Have a great Friday, great weekend. I'll try to come back on Sunday and, and do a video. And uh, I'll see you then. So until then, you all take care, and we'll talk soon. See ya.